For Pete's sake, the heater's on again. I thought I was done with the heaters. Uh, whatever. And it's like 26 degrees out. That really sucks. Oh well. Vintage stereo equipment. Oh, you gotta love those things. This one is a realistic STA 235 AM FM stereo receiver. When I got this on Saturday, it was raining up here, over in Connecticut, and so this thing was soaked. You know, like the wood cover was all soaked, and it was disgusting, and disgusting, and the thing, uh, the, the magic tuning, they actually have the gall to call it magic tuning. Don't ask me what magic tuning is, because I don't know, but, so they call it magic tuning. So, that would just, the little needle would go all the way up, like all the way up, like to the point where I can't go anymore, and it will just sit there. So, I took my, my uh, S, um, SMD rework, um, and I took it and dried off the boards, and uh, that, that worked a little while, so that just sit there for like, yeah, five days. It's working great now. So, let's turn it up. Turn it on. Flip it over to FM. Mm -hmm. The little tuning. It's like this little TV speaker I'm using the test speaker over here. Cheap little thing, but ah, it works. So to avoid copyright. Um. So yeah, it seems to work very, very nicely. Um. I also have a. Cassette de uh, cassette deck over there, and um, I also have a Radio Shack Professional, if you feel like calling that. I'm calling it that um, cassette deck up here, which um, on top of the, uh, the the Kenwood right there, that one up there. Um, that one, it's interesting. So yeah. Um, Poor little TV speaker. Well, I'll over to the other speakers. So, yeah, it definitely seems to work nicely. Um, uh, that, that's through really the auxiliary input. Um, let's check loudness. Not sure what audio end means. Try bass. So yep, hopefully don't get like a strike from playing that song, but I like it. Um, also you got a separate volume control for left and right, as you can see. You know, I try to play non copyright music as much as I can, but you know, I'm not doing this strictly for the money, so yeah. Uh, so let's see what else we got. Um, Place music in the background. Um, we got that Kenwood cassette deck, and I can't get a stupid thing to eject. You, you pop it open like that, and you have to like push the thing up. So I'm not totally sure that's supposed to work. Cause I'll show you. I put a cassette in there. Yeah. Whoops. 
There's that. That's how the extent goes. When you push that closed. Um, press play. And, ah, yeah. The, the VU meters are stuck all the way up there for some reason. It wasn't doing that. And then suddenly it just started doing that again. Sometimes I get hit it'll work. Almost. Um, but, taking. Okay, interesting, if you put it in. I can't get. I'm not sure what this jack's supposed to do. Um, if we put the. Try to press record, the VMers go down and act properly. But, as soon as you press stop, they go flying right back up there. Doesn't matter, you turn it on, they go right back up. That one's trying to dance around now. Um, put the line, there'll be an R, an R on off. Um, so, flip that, what good that gonna do, whatever, you know? Whatever, whatever. Um, so, one thing I want to check with this, uh, amp is, what's the output? So, oh, there's my oscilloscope. So let's check it. So we're going to stop this music. I'm Dropped my phone so many times. This thing in phone has had a poor life. Uh, <laughs> stupid thing has gone flying around the room before. and Still good as new. I mean, if this thing was an iPhone, it would be shot years ago. I didn't have it for a year, though. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, sorry, sorry. Like, okay, let, let, let's do this months ago, because I've only had it for, like, you know, like, something like that. So, let's see. You normally know, test the, the, the low frequency channels at around 40 hertz. No. Shh. That really blows in your face. Ports in the speakers are a bit too small. You hear a lot of port noise. But, uh, we put the ground on ground. Maybe. Guns on ground now. Okay. Let's try this. See what we can do here. Ah, why is it not coming in? This is kind of weird. What am I doing wrong? It was working. I see noise. Oh, duh, I'm on speaker A. Speaker B is activated. Whoops. That was kind of stupid. What's going on? What's going on? Wrong speaker, idiot. I should be able to get something. Okay, there it is. There we are. Hey! Stupid phone cut out on me. So I'm not sure how many watts the channel's thinking out, but whoa. One's right back on though, doesn't it? So... The RMS 16 volts. Oh, right there. See it clipping? Okay, that 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 I'd say is around 1% THD. And VRMS is 24.5 volts. I have my calculator on me, so can't really do that for you. But if we turn it down a bit, you can hear the speaker. You're sort of powered right about. Right there. That's Sheesh, you can really hard clip this thing. Look look at that waveform. Can you see that? Okay, let me zoom on the, zoom in on the oscilloscope's display. That is crazy. Let me let me show you this again. Oh shoot, am I blowing my speaker? Poor speaker. Man up. Like you say, distortion kills the speakers faster than most other things. Look at that waveform though. Things just crazy. It tries to do 31 volts. So it's we're probably actually like it's clean there, so if we take it clean. Let's see how high we can put it if we defeat all of the enhancements. Okay, now everything's defeated. And we are at volume level six. And we are outputting 20 volts, and I'm getting a nice breeze from this speaker. So you still can clip the heck out of this thing. You, you, you um, even uh, even at uh, decently with everything defeated on it. 
Um, and yes, everything was a feed. Loudness was off. If we put the low filter on, we might be able to do something. Ooh, whoops, play. Oh, yeah, if you've had the low filter on, you can turn the thing all the way up. But otherwise, you can't. Um, so, yeah, that thing is way overpowered, I gotta say. Um, now, I want to do a 1 kilohertz test, but that'll like blow my eardrums out, so I'm just gonna disconnect one of the wires from the battery. So this is not gonna be, sorry, not from the battery, from my speaker, which is also doubling as my load. So now, let's see what we got. Uh, put loudness back on, enable tone. Didn't really do much. You can see there's a little, little teensy weensy changing. Let's see if I scale that down, you'll see it. Watch. See, makes a tiny, tiny little change. But not, not other than that, not much. Should we turn loudness off? Whoa, 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 whoa! Loudness is on, and the waveform gets smaller. Watch. Look at that. You can clearly see that. And that that's interesting. So now, let's turn loudness off, turn everything off. See when we clip it. Ooh. I actually said click. That was a protection. We just went into protection. Nothing was even connected. Turn it back on. Get to get, get, what, what do we do? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, now I have no signal. Um. Ah, the phones fall. One sec. There we go. Still nothing. Oh, stupid me! The oscilloscope test lead came off. That wasn't the amp's fault. You know what? Fine. You want to play rough? I can play rough too. We're just gonna screw you right into the amp. You are not getting out of that now. Good. Now we should be able to do it. Oh, my phone turned off right now. I mean, you gotta love this, don't you? There we go. Now we should have our test tone. There it is. 10 volts. 20. And then we start to clip it hard. And that is at. Turn it right up to clipping, right? Down a little bit. That's about clean. Okay, so we have a clean signal. Let's see if we can do it throughout the spectrum. It's clean, still clean. Ooh, so it's a bit of modulation there. A lot of modulation. The really high frequencies, this is this doesn't look too great. That's that's crazy. It definitely seems, let's see, even under the base frequency, is it? Is it? Oh, yeah. It's clean until, um, at, that, at that volume level, it's clean until around 100. And, um, it's, it's clean until 100 hertz. And then the base frequencies, it starts to really bottom out. But the treble frequencies don't seem to be demanding as much voltage. It seems to demand about three more volts for the base frequencies. As we can always see. Uh, so yeah, not bad power output. Um, I'd say, we'll, we'll say we'll give it 27 volts RMS at um, under 2% THD. That's not bad. I want to see what it's actually rated for, but you know, not bad. So, let's see, 27 divided by 8 ohms times... Nope. Okay. No, I don't. Okay. So we get around 91 watts out of this thing. It's not bad. Not bad at all. No, 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 not bad at all. I'm actually going to go back and get my. I don't trust my tape anymore. So let's see. 27. 91 watts. And then if we take 
27 divided by 6, which is actually what we're doing the test at, we get 121 watts. We were pumping 120 watts into this speaker. So that is, that's, that's good. That's a good little amp. I'm starting to like this little thing. I wonder if it's actually what it's actually rated for. I bet it's like really low. Considering how they rate, rate things back, back then. Today we rate things crazy. If, if, if the amp can do 15 watts, we'll say it can do a, a hundred. It's a nice little amp, that's for sure. I like this little thing. It's a very nice looking amp and a very, very good performer from the looks of it. See what this thing can do, uh, or what, 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 what people claim it can do. Audio circuit does we... Well, we'll just say 95, 91 watts, because that's what we got out of it, right? Oh, now this is interesting. This thing it, um, can do four channel sound output. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So there you go. That is the realistic SDA 235 AM FM stereo receiver. And actually, I was working on cleaning this place up. Maybe. And here is all of my amps. I have everything that I have is up, is up there. Up there at the top is my travel stereo. Over there is a uh, 1940s TV chassis. There's a, the Lafayette receiver. It's a realistic receiver. An Aki receiver. Or, uh, sorry, a Kai. There's a Onkyo DVD player. Onkyo receiver. That one doesn't work though. Uh, Pioneer receiver. Over there is a nice old Fisher. There's a JVC and a Sony, uh, Sony Dat Deck. Down there's, there's a mixer. And then I have one more receiver over here. That's right there's a den. And that, that one's for sale on Craigslist, by the way. So if you want to buy it, by all means, please. Also, so is that Proceed Amp up there. Uh, then there's that den and then there's that Adcom. So I have a lot of receivers right now. I did out of receivers. And then there's my car stereos, but they're just factory, so who cares about them? So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. This has been Josh with Recordings.